The Rockefeller Republicans, also called moderate or liberal Republicans, were members of the Republican Party in the 1930s to 1970s who held moderate to liberal views on domestic issues, similar to those of Nelson Rockefeller, Governor of New York and Vice President of the United States. Rockefeller Republicanism has been described as the last phase of the Eastern Establishment of the GOP, which had been led by New York Governor Thomas E. Dewey. The group's powerful role in the GOP came under heavy attack in 1964 and it lost most of its influence. At a discouraging point in the 1964 primary campaign against Barry Goldwater in California, political operative Stuart Spencer called on Rockefeller to summon that fabled nexus of money, influence, and condescension known as the Eastern Establishment. You are looking at it, buddy, Rockefeller told Spencer, I am all that is left. Michael Lind contends that the ascendancy of the more conservative fusionist wing of the Republican Party, beginning in the 1960s with Goldwater and culminating in the Reagan Revolution in 1980, prevented the establishment of a Disraelian one-nation conservatism in the United States. In its current usage, the term refers to member of the Republican Party holding views likened to those of Nelson Rockefeller, a moderate or liberal Republican. 